Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. I'm here with Dr. Steve Bowling, who is a cardiac surgeon at Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Steve, thanks for being with me. Adam, thanks for having me again. Yeah, and so as you may know, Steve, we're answering the questions from our community that came in on heartvalvesurgery.com, Facebook, all over the internet. We have a great question that came in from Maria Gapinski, and she asks, hi Adam, two questions. Could you please ask the surgeons about annuloplasty rings and which styles have the best track record for long-term effectiveness following a mitral valve repair surgery? Adam, that is a really great question. And Marie, we get that question not only from patients, but from other surgeons. And the answer is, it almost doesn't matter. Here's what I say. It's not the ring, it's the ringer. It's the surgeon who puts it together. Yes, I think for some certain types of mitral disease, such as functional disease, where it's really disease of the heart. I think you need to put a small, rigid ring on that patient, and most groups have gone to that. But for garden variety, degenerative disease, a floppy mitral valve, myxomatous disease, I don't think it matters. Here's what I think matters. One, that you reestablish the Roman arch of that mitral valve so that it locks up and closes, and this, that's how big your mitral annulus should be. Use a ring that will bring it down to that size. Now, there are subtleties of a complete ring or partial ring, a flexible ring, and so on like that, but there's really been no study to show that one is better than the other. So it's far more important that you pick your surgeon rather than pick your ring. So Steve, let's, let's dig into that. If you're Maria, if you're a patient diagnosed with MR, you've got a problem. How do you find the right ringer? What are the questions you ask to determine that as a patient? Well, you need to find the right ringer, that is the right surgeon. And one of the most important things, as in anything in life, the more you do of something, the better you are at it. So ask them what has been their experience with this particular type of mitral disease. Ask them, be very blunt, say, how many of these have you done? Well, Steve, as always, thanks for your help here. I know that helped Marie. I know it helped our community. Helps me as always. And just thanks again for all the great things you and your team are doing at Michigan Medicine.